Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to review concrete encased high school girl murder case. What the f? From 1995. This is a Japanese crime movie. A young woman is kidnapped, tortured, and raped for 40 days before she dies. This is the story of Junku Furuta. This is the second movie I've seen about Junku Furuta. The first movie, Concrete from 2004, was not a good movie, but it was better than this movie. Just so you know, this is a movie based on true events that happened in Japan in 1989. If you are watching this review, I'm guessing that you know about this case so I don't have to spend time telling you what happened and what the gang did to Junku Furuta. Fortunately, the runtime is short. The runtime is around 68 minutes and that's good. The movie feels like a true crime episode you watch on TV, minus the scenes of violence the movie shows us. Do you learn something new here, if you have seen Concrete from 2004? No. I didn't feel I learned something new at all. The actors aren't much to brag about. And again, I sat with the feeling that they shouldn't make movies about this case until some talented people who want to tell us something sit down and write a good script. But that's difficult in terms of what happened in reality, so the best thing is to make a good documentary. I don't know if it exists, but in my eyes it would have been the best. So stop making these movies when they are shit. With the exception of the gang who lit Junko Furuta's legs on fire, this is not a graphic movie. The only thing the movie has spent money on is the burn injuries on Junko Furuta's legs. Concrete was better at showing us what the disgusting gang did to Junko Furuta. Do you really mean that the perpetrators deserve to live? Do you? Of the two movies I've seen, Concrete from 2004 is a better movie than Concrete Encased High School Girl Murder Case. What the f- Who thought of this stupid title? This is not a movie worth spending time on, so skip this one. From 1 to 10 I give Concrete Encased High School Girl Murder Case a 1 out of 10. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Sleep well.